Hey guys, welcome to the video. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who left me thoughts, prayers, and just kind words of encouragement on my last video regarding my bruised rib. You guys, with your thoughts, with your prayers, and with the power of God's healing, every single day I've been feeling better and better every day. I'm not at 100% yet, but luckily it doesn't hurt to train, it doesn't hurt to pose, and that was the one thing I was most concerned about because, as you guys know, I'll be getting on stage at the Arnold Classic Australia next weekend, this weekend actually, it's Monday today, and my biggest concern was being able to pose pain-free, and that I can definitely do. So, thank you guys so much, your prayers, your thoughts, your kind words, they all mean the world to me and honestly they pushed me through this past week and I am so thankful for you guys and so happy to report that every day I've been feeling a little bit better. I also want to say thank you guys so much for all of your encouragement throughout this journey and all of the well wishes, the good luck wishes, they honestly mean the world to me you guys. I am beyond words thankful for each and every single one of you that are here. I did get a chance to stop at my P.O. Box before I leave on my trip and I had some really nice letters and stuff from you guys in there as well and honestly like I'm just over the moon. My heart is filled with so much joy that we are sharing this journey together. I want to say a special thank you to my client Emily for your sweet card. It honestly meant the world to me. Thank you. I also have to share this photo from my friend Jared. He sent this to me as well. I'm going to show you guys his awesome Photoshop skills. So that is me and Jared at the Boss Babes Meetup in San Antonio. And he photoshopped in a koala, a kangaroo, and an Arnold trophy. <laughs> and he says on the back, look, you already won the Arnold Classic and your friends came along too. I also got this super cute hoodie. On the back it says sweat social society if you guys can see this was from a girl named Keely that had reached out to me and the whole meaning behind the sweat social society that she explained in the letter that she also wrote to me her and her husband both met in the military and they both endured a relationship through multiple deployments and they're now both out of the military and are pursuing their educations full-time and also have a passion for health and fitness and for also just sharing their journey with others thank you so much for this Keely I I'm actually going to be wearing this on the plane, so thank you. With one more super heartfelt thank you to each and every single one of you, let's get into the video. showing you guys what I'm packing in my competition suitcase. So I'll show you everything that I'm packing, not only for the week in Australia, but for show day. And these are things that I would pack even if I was doing a local show when it comes to things to pack for show day. So if you have a competition coming up and you're wondering what the heck do I need to pack in my competition bag, definitely keep watching this video. I've been competing since 2012, so I pretty much have the show day bag nailed down by now. And I will take you guys along with me and show you everything that I'm bringing. First thing I'm putting in my suitcase is my mini travel size foam roller. After a 17 hour flight, I know I'm gonna be feeling really tight. I actually bring my foam roller to most competitions. You wanna minimize any muscle soreness that you possibly can before you have to get on stage and you have to pose. You want your muscles to be nice and loose and nice and relaxed when you're posing. And so my foam roller is key for me, especially when I'm traveling for competitions. So I got this mini foam roller on bodybuilding.com and it fits perfectly in my suitcase so first things first foam roller next up is going to be several just casual 
outfits to walk around town in, a couple of these maybe options for our Meet the Pros meet and greet event that we have on Thursday evening. And then I'm also bringing a couple of going out outfits. I probably will be going out the night of the show just to celebrate a little bit and perhaps the night after. So you always wanna have a couple of options, am I right? Now the next thing that I'm definitely packing are some loose fitted clothing. Once you get your tan, you wanna make sure that you're wearing things that aren't super tight, aren't going to rub off and smudge your tan. So I'm bringing a little loose fitted black romper. This is the cover up that I wear backstage at all of my shows. It's just a live fit jersey. And as you can see, it's nice and baggy, nice and loose fit, so it's not going to ruin my tan. So definitely make sure that you're packing some loose fitted clothing as well. Bringing two pairs of jeans, even though it's summer in Australia, you never know. Two pairs of shorts, one skirt from Forever 21. Next up, gym clothes. I made sure that I packed an outfit for every day and then maybe a couple of other options just in case. Sweats, these will be the sweats that I will probably be lounging around in my room in. I'm only bringing one pair because they are bulky. So that's my tip when you're traveling and you're trying to condense space is to just pack one of the bulkier items. I am going to be re-wearing these sweats. I'm not gonna be getting sweaty in them. Like I said, these will literally just be what I'll be lounging around my hotel room in. So one pair of sweats will do it. And I'm actually going to roll these very tight to save space in my suitcase. You wanna make sure on the topic of loose fitted clothing that you bring a really nice big baggy loose fitted t-shirt to sleep in after you get your tan. The looser, the better. If you can bring an extra sheet or a towel with you, that is key because a lot of hotels will charge you if you get tan on the sheets. My piece of advice is to either sleep in your sweats or travel with an old sheet if you can. That way you can lay that on your hotel bed and you won't get charged for any damages to the hotel sheets. Keeping my shoes minimal, I'm gonna be traveling in my Adidas white sneakers that I have on my feet right now. One pair of chucks, a pair of wedge booties, full black strappy heels, and then just basic flip flops are a necessity as well. You're gonna want these when you're walking back and forth from getting your tan to get your shoes on and off pretty fast. Um, also, when you're hanging out backstage before you put your heels on, just a simple pair of easy to slip on and off flip flops are great. These are the posters I will be bringing to the event that we have, the Meet the Pros event on Thursday evening in Melbourne. So if you guys are local to Melbourne, I'd love to see you guys there. I'll be posting more details about where it's going to be held later on on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me on there as well. And I will have these little posters there with me. All right, next up is toiletries. I like to put mine in just Ziploc plastic bags and then I put them in the compartment on my suitcase that also is enclosed by itself as well, just in case there's any sort of leakage or anything like that. Tip, just make sure all of your bottles are completely shut before you put them in the bags. Tighten them as tight as you possibly can. I'm bringing exfoliating gloves. This is essential. You wanna make sure that your body's super exfoliated before you get your competition tan so that the tan can set in nicely and evenly on your skin. Wipes, also super important. I love these when I travel. If I'm just in a rush and need to cleanse really fast, they're great on show day as well for your hands and your toes. If you get some extra tan, Hand, on your nails or anything like that you can use these wipes to get it off dry shampoo is also a must I believe when you're competing keep in mind you're not going to be able to shower and wash your hair after you get your first coat of tan so personally for me I'll be getting my first coat of tan on Thursday evening so that will be my last hair wash and then I'll compete on Saturday and I'll usually just use a little bit of this in between my washes moisturizer vitamin C serum leave-in conditioner from dry bar and eye cream in the other bag is my toner deodorant toothbrush toothpaste and a little bit of hair oil to put on before i apply any heat to my hair makeup bag styling tools also going in my bag is a little drawstring bag that i put some supplements in these are mostly just my daily multivitamins some vitamin c vitamin d and my nla for her supplements i have my shred her my omegas my probiotic my cla and my hair skin and nails also very important when traveling to another country a power outlet converter as you guys can see everything has its own little place and fits very nicely Stocked up on my rice cakes, got my foam roller, supplements, 
makeup, shoes, pizzas. I didn't show you guys these. Uh oh. Some fast acting carbs for backstage just in case I need something right before I go on stage to help me pump up. Suitcase, I literally never travel without my slippers. A lot of times too, it's really cold backstage and so when you're waiting around, FYI if you've never competed before, it is a lot of waiting around, especially in between pre-judging and in between finals and waiting to go on stage and a lot of times it's very cold in the venue. If your feet can stay warm though, your entire body usually feels a lot warmer. So I usually bring my slippers backstage too. Just a little pro tip for you guys. I'll also be bringing some gym gear as well, including a band. This is something I'll also be bringing backstage with me to help me pump up my glutes a little bit before I go backstage, but also really good to travel with and just use in your hotel room just to get a nice pump. You can do so much with bands. So I'll be bringing a band with me. My wrist wraps, my Bursa grips. Okay guys, this is the carry-on bag and some very important things have to go in here. My piece of advice is to pack your competition suit in your carry-on bag. There's always a chance that your bag may not arrive at your destination and the last thing you want is to be there out there for the purpose of competing and not have your competition suit. So I highly suggest packing at least one of your competition suits in your carry-on bag. I will also be putting my competition heels in my carry-on bag for that same reason. And this little pouch with my competition jewelry in my carry-on bag as well. That way, regardless of what happens to my suitcase, I'm praying it makes it there when I do, but just by chance, if something happens, I have everything that I need to compete on show day. A sleeping mask, essential for long flights. Earplugs, also very important for long flights. And of course, travel pillow. So that is going to wrap up what is in my suitcase and what is also going to be in my carry-on. Now, I know I didn't mention food, so let me talk about that really quickly. This is a 17 hour flight, so I'm going to be packing enough meals to last me throughout my entire trip. I'm essentially going to be packing the food that I will eat within the first few hours, non-frozen, and then the rest of my meals I'm going to be packing frozen. And those will act as kind of mock ice packs to keep the rest of my food cold throughout the majority of my trip. This is an overnight flight, so I'm gonna be sleeping majority of the time, so I don't need 17 hours worth of food. Luckily, I'll have one meal once I get on the plane around 10 p.m. when we board, and then I'll sleep throughout the night, and then I'll have enough meals to last me throughout the rest of the travel time on the plane. And then those will all go into the second carry-on bag that I'm bringing with me that'll just be assigned for food. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I'll be bringing you guys along with me throughout my entire trip in Australia up until show day as well, and I would love to share the experience with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here with me every single step of this journey. It honestly means the world to me. I know I keep saying that, but it truly does, and I can't even express in words how thankful I am for you guys. That is going to be it for this video, and I guess the next time I see you guys will be in Australia. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see y'all in Australia. Oh, 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 oh,